and welcome everybody to a impromptu and slightly harebrained, maybe scatterbrained, because I'm sick as fuck and not just looking. <laughs> uh, episode of Phoenix and Glitchy. We have a particular target today. Usually we just kind of broadband uh, around who we think of or anything, or unless we're talking about favorites. Today's topic is freely. We came upon this topic after watching a video by Tana Mojo. Who, who we occasionally, because we're horrible fucking people, call Tana Hojo. And yeah, don't get sorry, me wrong. Sorry, girl, but sorry, you know. Sorry, but we do actually enjoy your videos. One of the first videos we watched of yours was you punching yourself in the face to get out of field day, which <laughs> let me tell you, baby, yeah. I would have been your best friend in school if I didn't get irritated by your scrawny ass. I'm not going to like you. Oh, my God. But I feel like you put your videos out there because you also know that people are going to make fun of you. Because, I mean, you make fun of yourself. Yeah. And if you can't laugh at yourself, what's the point, you know? So, yeah, who can you laugh at? This isn't us trying to be a bitch to you or anything like mm -hmm. that. Bitches, whatever. Also, the lighting is low as fuck because I'm sick as fuck. I have a serious ear infection in my left ear. So if I'm louder than usual... Oh, sorry about it. Not really. And I have a sinus infection, which is quickly becoming bronchitis. So, mm. um, but yeah. Go ahead. We we saw um Tana's video about her responding some... to something that Freely has done to her. And I should preface this with a quick disclaimer. Well, I may joke about not trusting anybody who doesn't eat meat. I have no ill will towards vegans at all. Um, I have no ill will towards vegans at all either, but I have massive ill will, massive beef towards Freely. And let me just tell you, Freely, if you're watching this, fuck you, you scrawny anorexic whore. Because of you, because of you, I would never be vegan. I would never and, even try it. And your creepy ass, pedo ass boyfriend, too. Needs to lay the fuck off of a 17 year old. And here's why. So, as mentioned in Tana's video, the, um, in one of Freely's response videos, or in one of Freely's videos, she makes mention to Tana's I Got Banged by a Toothbrush video. And from what I which, understand, she didn't even actually watch the video. I don't know, because I didn't look for it, because I honestly did try to watch Freely's videos, but a bitch is vapid, and a bitch is fucking irritating, and I could not stand her. According to Tana, according to Tana's video, she made mention, made reference to this video, having not watched it, Tana said so herself, um, As it that, really didn't watch the actual video, just went by the title. Right, Tana, I mean, freely just went by the title. Um, and her boyfriend said, oh, I'd like to see that, I'd like to see a live feed of that. Yeah, send me a link. Um, and, you're 40-something? And, and you're Tana's perving... 17. You're perving on a minor, for one thing, which I don't know how it works in kangaroo land, but that's <laughs> fucking illegal here. Mm. So that's, that's bad. We're not um, we're not against Australians, just saying, no. timers. I love Australia. You know, fuck yeah, yes. Yeah, me too. Russell Crowe, fuck yes. Whatever, that's probably going to give me a whole lot of shit because Russell Crowe's have done some shit, and I don't fucking care. That's all I can think and, of for Australian. I don't even know. Actually, I think he's from New Zealand. I'm going to die. I'm going to hell. Aunt. God, <laughs> my aunt and uncle lived in Australia for quite a few years there for a while. I have nothing against Australian people except for Freely and exactly. her boyfriend. We, only um, have, we have beef slash issues slash whatever the fuck with Freely and her pedophile boyfriend. Because And yes, I pronounced it that way on purpose. <coughs> That's fucking disgusting. She it is fucking disgusting. You sick fuck. And you know what else is disgusting? The fact that a thin healthy woman has to make yeah, herself like leather yeah she doesn't like leather um that she has to make herself feel superior by cutting other people down and saying that if you're not vegan you're a horrible person or and I'm sorry, fat shaming milk tit juice bitch where do you get off i hope and you never breed like honestly looking at her video list, I was immediately 
just flabbergasted. Because she makes reference to these euphemisms in multiple titles of her videos. All of which, all of which are clickbait, by the way. She's name dropping other people so that she can get yeah, views. views. But she uses terms like tit juice, asgina. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is an that asgina? Mean? Like, um, to quote Tana, what do you mean? Like, what yeah, do you but, mean? It, it just, I, I was immediately like, oh my fucking god. Because I will be honest, I'm overweight. So I'm also, I. I am also, though, one of the few exceptions to the rule in which I can't really help it. I'm disabled, and I cannot exercise to the degree that many people can to lose weight. Now, Freely, feel free to come at me. Yeah, feel let's free. See how, let's see how you well, fucking talk shit about my besties. Cause really? let, let, let's, let's see how your fan base likes it when you attack a disabled homosexual man, because I hate to pull this card, but I'm a double minority, bitches. Um, but it leads me to the question, would you shame me for not fitting into your body standards? Um, oh and yeah, I forgot. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Um, I would share this with you, Bessie, but you are all the way, you know, like 17 hours away. But, um, I'm a little bit hungry. And I know it's kind of rude to eat on camera, but bacon pizza. Yeah. Oh, mm. lucky bitch. I love bacon. Oh, right. Which, sorry for the vegans that are watching sorry, this. Sorry, vegans, except really. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Well, yeah, exactly. Dirty really. and humble um, And, you know, this also... Bacon. Bacon. Sorry, not freely vegan. Cutting back to the issue real. of... C cutting back over to the issue of um, Freely's pedo boyfriend, um, for some reason, Freely also mentioned something in her videos about Tana taking her hand off her clit. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is that about? She's for one thing, she's a minor, so you shouldn't be even thinking about her clit. Regardless um, of what it, it, what the laws are in your neck of the woods, in your fucking whatever. Regardless, here in the United States, where Tana fucking Mojo lives, she is a minor. Yeah. Emancipated or otherwise, she is a minor. You two are being fucking vulgar. As yeah. I say, fuck. You know what? I don't care how much I swear, because you know what? At the end of the day, I still try to be a good person, and I don't fucking go around openly, like, bashing on people to get them to believe in something that I believe in. Yeah, I talk shit, I talk trash, whatever, that's just because I'm a fucking bitch. But I'm not gonna go and fuck over teenagers in a mall. Bitch, freely fuck you, I saw your shit. Oh, you know who she reminds me a lot of, and this is probably gonna give me some flack for saying this. That one fucking bitch who said something about fat people on planes, right? Oh, well, that, there's that. Um, Nicole? Was it Nicole? I don't remember her name. But I was thinking of Donald Trump. Because everything that Donald Trump says is at the expense of someone else. And that seems to be what Freely's got going on for her. Trying to build yeah. notoriety and fame for her vapid, frigid bullshit. Like, like, yeah, seriously, I would clay, I would say that you have bitchy resting face, but I have bitchy resting face. No, honey, you're just a fucking cunt. She has bitchy everything face. What is she? <laughs> She's got leather um, face with a side of bitchy resting face. Like, and I am a person, I respect Tana for doing things in her videos to entertain people and to bring them up. I do not respect someone who has to cut other people down to make herself feel important. I do not respect someone who has had, who has been called on their bullshit numerous times by a variety of sources. By and trained it, professionals, no less. That still feel the need to spread their, yeah. that still feel the need to spread their <laughs> Frank, frankly, blatantly ridiculous rhetoric. rhetoric. Just 
all over the place. The internet is fucked up enough. Really? We really, we really don't need you staking a place out to fucking have your fucking dingo ate my baby bullshit there too. I'm sorry. Just. I'm gonna be over her eating pizza <laughs> and like not choking. And yet again, I apologize to the Australians, but when I see somebody who is making notoriety for themselves by harming other people who could, at this very moment, be shaming people to the point where they feel they need to take their own life. I do not respect that, I do not support that, and it makes me fucking angry. This is where I step in. The sheer fact that I... I I've always been a big girl. That's neither here nor there. Well, it is here and there, but I've been a big girl all my life, and I've been fat shamed all my life. I was slut shamed when I was a 18 year old virgin. Okay, well, no, sorry, not 18 year old virgin. I wasn't a virgin by choice because I was raped when I was 16. So you know, make of that what you will freely. My point is, I know what it's like to be fat shamed. And let me tell you this, honey bunny, if you would come up to me and done that shit to me, especially when I was a teenager, sweet motherfucking Jesus, I would eat you. That's not a fat joke. Well, maybe it is a little bit. But you know what? I would eat you. I would go full on fucking zombie on your ass. Full on bath salts with the fuck ever. I didn't do drugs. I still don't do drugs because fuck that. I'm weird enough on my own. But you Thing is, really need to wake the fuck up and understand that you could possibly make some poor teenager kill themselves. And that blood, that death is on you. Not only that, even if you didn't bring them to the point of killing themselves. How old are you, what? by the way? You're like, you're like, what, 40, 50? You're a grown-ass fucking woman and you're targeting teenagers because you know for a fact that a fucking grown-ass woman would beat your ass. You're a grown-ass woman. Act like it, for one thing. For another thing, how many eating disorders are you causing? Exactly. When you're going because... to a fucking mall where there are... These teenagers' peers are there anywhere at any given moment in a fucking public setting like that. And you're gonna fucking fat shame them? What the fuck is wrong with you? What crawled up your keister? Did somebody just shove a pineapple that far up your ass that you've gotta be a raging fucking cunt? To strangers? To teenagers? To innocent bystanders that have done not a fucking thing to you? You know what, Freely? Come for me. Come for my bestie. Because I will sit here and I will tell you, you need to go fuck yourself. You're a fucking bitch. And to be perfectly honest, yeah, I'm a little bit heated because, not for myself, because you can call me fat all day long. I don't give a shit. I know I'm fat, but at least I have titties. You know, and an ass. And at least we're good people. Yeah, at least we're we good can't people. Even say, we can't even say that we're good people. And for one thing, I wouldn't want Glitchy to eat you because who knows what kind of shit you have going on in your don't. body. You, she'd probably catch Herpaganocephalates or some who fucking what the fuck's wrong else. <coughs> <coughs> And, Freely, I want you to think about this. There are people in this world who cannot control the fact that they are overweight. They cannot help it for medical reasons. And How many of those people are you bringing to the point where everything they put in their mouth they feel the need to throw up because they want to fit into your body standard? How many people are you shaming so profoundly because you don't fucking know? You don't know what's wrong with them, or if there's a problem, or maybe they have some sort of disorder, like Tana said. Like Tana said, honestly, Tana was really fucking eloquent, and, you know, yeah. really fucking, I honestly, she gained my respect. I didn't fully, like, completely, 100% respect Tana, because I'm not easy to gain, it's not easy to gain my respect. But the video response she did, responding to your stupid ass freely, Honestly, she earned my respect because she was concise. She was nice. <gasps> Dear fucking God, she was nice. Way nicer than I could ever be. As case in point, by this video. Please, kindly, go fuck yourself freely. I hope you get eaten by a goddamn kangaroo. And, I, and I'll be honest. I support Take Tana's... Pizza, bitch. Ah. I support Tana's hashtag Tana Challenges freely. Mm. But you shamed so many people. I think it's time somebody shamed you. Shame! on you. 
Shame on you. For being this person. For being you. Such a horrible person. Shame on you and your fucking pedophile husband. Shame on you both, because you're both disgusting people. What does that feel like, huh? How does that feel? Yeah, how does that feel? Does to it know. feel good to know that us two, pretty much, we were perfect strangers and we never would have known about you. But you came after one of our, you know, one of the people we watch on YouTube, because we like to sit and watch YouTube story times together. Yeah. And, you know, I will admit, Tana's done some stupid shit, but I highly doubt that you, in your entire lifetime, and your fucking pedophile creepazoid husband, have done been perfectly straight laced, 100% people. I'm sorry, I'm going back to the clip thing. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Telling Tana to take her finger off her clit? Bitch, do you even know where your clit is? Do you have a clit or do you have a miniature penis? Because I'm pretty sure your fucking mini penis is bigger than your husband's. Go fuck yourself, go fuck him. Suck my fucking clit, and hey, maybe I'll take some laxatives so you can drink my fucking shit, bitch. Oh yeah, by the way, dairy products. Hey, hey, mmm, titty juice in a fucking Cup. jello fashion, I don't fucking know. Uh, and yeah. let, you stupid let me, fucking cunt. Fuck you. And then, I will go get a jug of milk, I don't give a shit. And let me just say, from someone who has not really looked into veganism all that much. I'll admit, I like bacon. I just, and, and beef. Bacon, I like bacon and meat, beef. Meat is good. You know, I like meat. Um, I, I like really fish. Into... Fish is good too. Mm. And I could be pescatarian. I really could. Um, but... This is where I'm like, wait, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's where you only eat fish there's and too many, like... There's just too fucking many different ter terms for different things, okay? Uh, oh, so you eat fish. Okay, you like eating fish. That doesn't need a fucking title. Come on, people. Well, pescatarian is like being a vegetarian, only you eat fish, too. So, it's got a separate thing. But anyway, <sighs> you know, from someone who has not looked into veganism all that much, if I had just come across your videos and started watching... Because, you that know, would honestly, how many people go on YouTube and just say, you know, type in veganism, lifestyles, and shit? You are not painting a very good picture yeah. of veganism. Tana, on the other hand, is showing that you can be a vegan and, and still, still be a, a respectful person. person. Yeah, still be a respectful person. And I respect that she decided to become vegan after watching your stuff. Do I respect you? No. no. I respect Tana for taking your shit show... And, and turning, turning it, it into, into something, something positive. positive. Also, high five for that fucking in unison baby. I'm, I know, right? That was kind of um, hot. <laughs> but seriously, <coughs> where do you get off shaming anyone? Anyway? Seriously, where? I mean, honestly, who do you think you are, Queen? Fucking, I don't fucking know. Who the fuck? Do you understand how fucking ironic it is? I mean, like how hypocritical it is. Because of the fact that you do all this shit to change your body. Because clearly you were not happy with yours. <laughs> and then you want to go and fucking... I'm sorry. Did you did you ever graduate high school? Did you fucking realize that this is no longer high school? This childish bullshit doesn't fucking fly? And to the people who support you and your bullshit ways, I'm sorry, but you people need to wake the fuck up. She's a fucking prom queen wannabe. She got yep. pregnant in the back of a fucking limo, didn't even make it into the goddamn dance. Stupid bitch. And the and baby is called veganism and her fucking shitty YouTube channel. And let me just say, I may not have the best relationship with my body image, but I know at the end of the day that no matter what I look like, I'm a good person. Yeah. You can't say the same. And I would be willing to bet that when you lost all that weight, because I'm sure you were You were plump, probably a baddie. Um, I'm pretty sure that you probably changed the way you looked for someone else. And I'm willing to bet people still don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Tana doesn't like you, and she shouldn't have to. Like she said, she's 17. What are you doing talking about her clit? And what is your fucking boyfriend, husband, fiance, whatever the fuck he is to you, doing talking about wanting to see her getting fucked by a toothbrush? 
Did you are you didn't watch the video. I feel like you didn't watch the video because if you did, you would know that that was a story from her teenage years, earlier teenage years, that some boy, some dumbass liar, much like yourself and your husband or whatever the fuck he is to you, your little bitch boy, made up about her to try to look cool. Sound familiar? I think it does. And, and I'm sure that if you even responded to this video, which I'm pretty sure you won't, um... Because she's a bitch. If you happened oh to respond to this video, you would probably take things that we say out of context. Because that's your MO, that's what you do. Because that's, that's your MO. At. But I just want to tell you that I'm happy with myself the way I am because I'm a good person. And you can't say the same. I'm pretty sure that you're A, not a good person, and I'm pretty sure that deep down under all that vapid venom, you're still fat. You're, you're just a sad, strange little girl with your inner fatty just aching to get out. Hey, bitch, why don't you eat a brownie? You know, might loosen up that asshole. Or even better. Your ass, Gina? Because what the fuck? What the fuck even is that? Like, really? And let me just say, let me just say, from the bottom of my fucking heart, I literally hope that you die of cancer or some other horrible fucking disease because you're a cunt. You're going around fat shaming people? I'm sorry, I grew up with that shit and it is taking me a long, long fucking time to get to a point in place where I like myself, where I am okay with my body because of people like you. Because of cunts like you who think it's perfectly fucking acceptable to go around and fucking fat shame us. People like you <coughs> are the same people who contribute to the suicide rate not only in America but all over the world people like you are the same people that would stare at me when I was in high school for being different people like Let me you were the bitches that told me I needed to lose weight that would call me fat, that would target me in the locker rooms, that would fucking try to attack me, would make their boyfriends dance with me at school dances just so they could fuck me over and try to pour shit on me. Fuck you, you insignificant, insecure, vapid fucking backwater cunt. And grow up. Seriously, grow up! You're a grown ass woman. You're what in your are 40s. you doing? What are You're you doing? Older than that. I mean, what are you really. Doing? What are you doing? You're if, 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 by some horrible twist of fate, mm. you happen to have I'm children. Soda. Oh my god, I hope you never have children. I really hope that your fucking vapid, horrible ways have made you sterile because Jesus Christ, I, if, your children will kill themselves. If you happen to have that fucking twist of fate to have a child, I hope. To God, they come to hate you for the way that you are. And frankly, how are you going to feel when your belly gets big because you're having a bun in the oven? You're not going to be so fucking thin then. No, she'll probably lose the baby to Children's Services once it's out because she's going to starve herself to keep thin. I'll, t I'll bet you anything if she did. Honestly... Do the world a favor and just honestly grow the fuck up. Get over yourself. Looks and fade. People can lose weight, but you're gonna be a cunt for the rest of your fucking life. Life, sorry. Life, unless you change your shit around, because seriously, you're so fucking immature. What kind of example are you setting for the young people in your life? Heaven forbid there are any. Um, what kind of example are you setting for the people who watch your channel, you're telling and them blindly that blindly believe what you do is right because they don't know better. And you're telling them that it's okay to go into a mall and fat shame people. You're telling them that it's okay to talk shit about people you you're really don't even know. You're telling them it's okay to drive people to suicide. You're telling them that it's okay to shame people for being the way they are. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand that some people do need to have a healthier lifestyle. There are people who can change their weight. But there are also some people who can't, and you don't seem to understand that. And 
the people that can, it needs to be their choice. And you do not have the right to belittle them. Regardless of the choices that they make. Regardless of the choices they make or do not make, or how long it takes them to change, if they desire to change. You have there people, no right. There are people who are happy with their bodies. There are people at any size. And you should respect that. But I kind of get the feeling that you really don't respect anyone. And that's yourself. just sad. I honestly feel like... Your daddy didn't love you. Neither did your mama. Do you blame him? No. They probably knew what exactly what she was gonna fucking turn into. And, and they just gave up right off the bat. Also, let me just say, that tongue pop earlier was fucking amazing. I wish I'd gotten it on camera. And Random if, segue. If by some chance Tana is watching Good on you, girl. Good on you. Good on you. Honestly, for... you don't know me or my bestie here. You don't know my co-host or me from a fucking fart in the wind. But honestly, you gained my respect. Like, fully got my respect. I'm still gonna talk yeah. shit about you while we watch your videos because, I mean, that's what we do. We talk shit about videos, but we don't, you know... We don't mean it. We don't really mean it. We don't it's really funny. mean it. You know, you know it's just but, entertaining. Um, side note, sweetie, Tana, Tana, I love you to death. Please fix your fucking tracks. Oh my god, I can see your fucking... Yeah, what are your hair <laughs> I can see him. Sweetie. Sorry, girlfriend. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to help. I really am trying to help in this instance. I'm trying to help you, Jana. I love you. I can see your fucking extension, like, placements. Ooh. Also, you guys you know, can't see my hair because I took a shower before the stream, or video, not stream. So, yay! My hair is kind of, like, pulled back. I was trying to make it look cute and shit, but it's not working. You can't see and me. I'll be honest. I'm proud of you, Tana. I'm proud of you. Because you took the fucking abuse... From somebody who had no. She business. went and made three videos of Tana. And three, maybe didn't... more by now. I don't know. Ooh. You didn't deserve that, Tana. No, you didn't. And she should be ashamed of herself for one thing. Especially but coming you... after a teenager. But you took it, and you were classy about you were it. You were classy about it. It was good. You were civil. You were nicer than I would be. Nicer Just than we are being. Um. Point. So, good on you. And, you know, you don't know us at all. But I do respect you for that. Oh my god, freely. I freaked those cords out. Oh my god, I bet she's never had that before. She probably has. She, honestly, I'm telling you, she probably was super uber fucking fat as a kid. Probably. She probably had an eating disorder. <coughs> probably. Oh, I'm sorry, is, that, is it not is, nice to call other people... Anorexic? Is it not nice to say that other people have eating disorders? Oh, like you did to Tana? And I'm not even really saying it to be mean. I'm just saying it because it makes sense. That yeah, much insecurity, sense. that much insecurity had to come from somewhere. Also, to the viewers, sorry about my chin situation here. I don't know what the fuck happened other than wh I literally went to bed Friday night. My face was clear. I, I don't actually get acne other than when I eat chocolate, and I didn't eat chocolate that night, so I don't know what the fuck happened there, but I went to bed. I was fine. I just kind of had like a bit of a tickle in my nasal passage. Not anything to worry about. I figured it was allergies because summertime. Yay. I woke up with a fucking huge ear infection, a sinus infection, a fever, and this on my fucking chin. I don't know what happened. Tana, hit me up and give me some fucking pointers on how to hide this shit. <laughs> Actually, I would, I would go to a drag queen to get this shit hidden before I went to anybody else. But no, that's really all that needs to be said yep. on that topic. I respect Tana for the way she handled it. I truly um, respect you, Tana. I truly, honestly, and my respect is not something that's easily fucking earned. And, I don't bitch, and I don't... And I don't mean bitch in a bad way, but bitch, nah, like you my you my down ass bitch, you my bad ass bitch. You fucking hilarious. I oh love my God. your video. You are so fucking hilarious, and I'm not gonna lie. Actually, you know what? We'll put this in another video. Just for yeah. you, Santa. We're gonna make a video talking about how much we love you. Because freely, we're done with your stupid ass. 
Yeah, we're done. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Freely, if you're watching this... Fuck off! Um, How dare you go after a teenage girl? Tana, if you're watching this, girl, we love you. Love, uh, much just love. So much love. Many props. Uh, props, and you know, even though I don't believe in the religion you believe in, I appreciate the fact that you openly admit that you're a Christian, or I'm sorry, I don't really remember what the fuck you said you were, but that you're. I think uh, it was. Jesus I think freak, she's Christian. Whatever. And, and I'm, 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 I'm not trying age, to. I admit that. I'm not trying to be. I wouldn't admit that. No. <laughs> I'm not though, but I'm not. But I do appreciate the fact that you are so fucking down to earth and you are so fucking weird and amazing and hilarious. So we're gonna yeah. continue that in another video because we're at the like 30 minute mark. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry, this wasn't funny or whatever. Oh, I'm, um, I'm sure it was yeah, funny. Some, some people. But... Hey, shout out to uh, Victor Clutch. Thank you again for our background and our stuff. Sorry that I fucked up the setup. That's why it's like that. We're using the Skype. I don't know what the fuck I did. The last time to make it work right, but I need to get Clutch back up on her and help me. <laughs> yep. We right. we love you guys and. Not uh, you, not you, freely, not your husband. Go fuck a durian. What? Uh, have you ever eaten durian? That is the nastiest fucking shit you ever. No, I haven't. I've smelled it though. <laughs> it smells shitty. <laughs> <coughs> all right. Bye. But. We will see you all in the next video. Woo.